Hello, Alex Cole here from Bobcat Cam. What I'd like to talk about in this video is three different multi-axis operations and what their patterns are that get generated on the surface. These patterns can be useful and you can have a desired finish that you're looking for. And hopefully this will help you be able to see which of these tool paths would be the best one for you to use. So we're going to use this piece here, which we're going to start machining the floor first. And so let's go ahead and start creating some tool paths and see what different patterns those will generate. I'm going to add a multi-axis feature. And to start, we're going to use the surface-based parallel cuts toolpath. And we're going to set this up to use a quarter-inch ball end mill. Okay, so my drive surface is the input for this toolpath that's going to indicate the floor uh, in this case that we're going to work on. And I'm not worried about any tilting strategies. I'm just going to leave everything at their defaults and we're going to see what result we get. So the result that we get, you can see, is a nice parallel style toolpath. This right now is a one-way toolpath, so it's only going in a single direction. Um, but we get nice straight lines, and this may be the desired surface finish uh, pattern that you're going to want to see in that part. Okay, so let's blank this toolpath, and we'll move on to the next style. So create a new multi-axis feature. This time, I'm going to use the Morph Between Two Curves option. Now, the Morph Between Two Curves toolpath does exactly what it says. It's going to morph between uh, the two input curves that you select and generate a path that blends between those two. Now, I'm selecting the same quarter-inch ball. And on the Surface Paths page, we have our input curves that we need to select. So my first curve is going to be this outside edge. And my second input curve is going to be this back curved edge at the bottom of the radius. And my drive surface is going to be the floor. So, <clears throat> again, <clears throat> computing this with just the defaults, we have not done anything with tool axis control, uh, so the tool is going to stay straight up and down. Now the result of this toolpath is much different than what we just saw from the other one. Uh, parallel Cuts is going to create straight parallel uh, type toolpaths. This one here is going to morph between those two input curves uh, to create more of a flowing toolpath. And sometimes that toolpath finish is desired to be in a flowing style. And this is a great uh, toolpath selection to use to get that result. Okay, so we'll blank this toolpath so we can see. And let's add another multi-axis feature. And I'm going to, this time, use Parallel to Multiple Curves. So with Parallel to Multiple Curves, once I select my tool again here, I want to make sure we're using the same tool. So with parallel to multiple curves, you select an edge curve and a drive surface. And we'll see that the system then generates parallel cuts to that input curve. Um, again, this can be desirable based on how you want the part to be finished and what type of tooling marks you would like to see on that finished part. So this one is somewhat similar to what we saw with Morph Between Two. However, it's only running parallel to that input curve, and it simply offsets that pattern out and generates a cosmetically appealing uh, pattern on the part. Uh, however, it does have more cut interruptions because of, um, you know, that offset runs into this outer edge. Now, 
One thing that's nice about this is that we have constant spacing of our passes, so we have a very even looking surface finish. Okay, so there you can see we've taken a quick look at three different tool paths and what their patterns generate. Now, don't get confused with this video. There's many, many other things that you can do with each of these tool paths. In this example, I'm simply showing the effects on a floor because it's very straightforward and it's very easy to see and we can focus just on the pattern that's generated. Now, floors are not the only thing that you can cut with these tool paths and we'll be getting into that in other videos.